Hello my name is Perlinda, welcome to the vibe. If you think with more emotion than logic, leave now. Now let's begin. How to buy a tiger fan? First thing, you need to book a ticket, aeroplane. Yes, and then you go aeroplane, sit down, then then go find your tiger fan at Thailand. <laughs> <laughs> yes, after find a tiger fan already, then go a date with her. <laughs> then after date with her already, then marry. <laughs> Ah oh, man, feminine looks traditional. Looks pleasant that you'd actually want to be around. Actually want to come home to. Apparently in Thailand. Okay, you walk around in in the West and American females really no smile on their face, zero femininity, just not even looking pleasant to want to be around. Okay, options are in your hands. If you figure out ways to make resources where you don't have to report to a job every single day in an office or a specific building every day, you can go overseas, okay? And get females like this. Picture this, you being appreciated. <laughs> Picture this, a female actually wanting to be around you and valuing what you bring to the table and not wanting to be a man and the attractive okay if you didn't know americans are like one of the <laughs> how, how, how do you say this is we're in a political correct society are the biggest weight wise like in the world okay other countries fifos understand they have to keep their body in shape good job let's continue All right, what's going on TikTok? Why I decided to move to Thailand. Three major reasons, and all three are just as important as the next. Number one, financial freedom. My money goes so far here, my US dollar. Now you gotta diversify, you gotta do your homework, but investment opportunities are right here for you. They're affordable and it doesn't take near as much. Your US dollar actually hedges you against inflation here in Thailand. The Thai bot has actually lost value to the US dollar over the past two months. Uh, 1.5 bot per dollar, which is a pretty significant amount, if you will. So just holding dollars is a beneficial, it's, it's beneficial to us like living in Thailand. So with that said, number one was financial freedom. Number two, this is big, the decline of the Western culture. What is happening in the West is disgusting. You know, from crisis to crisis to crisis, to political divisions, to the gender wars, to the facts that, you know, the fact that men and women don't get along. They're so effing jaded. People are, I'm done. I'm done. No regrets whatsoever. The decline of the thought Western culture into like where promiscuity is celebrated. Uh, Kim Kardashian's is, is, is the number one show. It's, it's, it's repulsive. It's repulsive. With that said, that was one of the main things when it, especially when it comes to like effinism, how, how it's, it's all about dollars and they're throwing it right in your face with social media. It's just disgusting. Uh, people have re been reduced to a like or a comment and that's it. Number three, and this is priceless. That is peace of mind. And guys, you can't put a price on this. When you are able to unplug from that nasty, toxic ass energy for the first time in your life, and truly experience a freedom, that burden that, that, that just comes off of you. And it drags you back from the dark side as a human being because you don't even realize how hard of a person you have to become just to survive in the West. And this is my point. I felt like I was gonna have to become a man I didn't wanna become. Now with that said, being here has truly healed me in so many ways. It's brought me back from the brink 
uh, of going just like, fuck it, you know, not, not no threat whatsoever. I mean, I'm just saying like, just checking the fuck out completely. Um, here I meet, I interact, I have great interactions with women and men, friends I've already met. It's just been a wonderful experience. The whole vibe is just nothing but good things here. It's just completely different. You don't have that toxic energy going from crisis to crisis here in Thailand. With that said, number three is priceless. I hope that helps, guys. That's the top three reasons of why I decided to move to Thailand. We usually give surrender our white flags to the person that we see to be our husbands. Surely our husbands. As much as possible, give up your virginity after marriage. It's your purest form of gift, greatest prize for your husband that's it still is in the Philippines there are some you know young girls now doing that it is but it's very few percentage and it would be very secret because the family if they know they will force you to get married really <laughs> if, you, if you're not ready they will finance everything they will arrange the marriage right away give up your virginity get ready for wedding bills <laughs> so you if they do it they do it really secretly they don't tell their parents about it or anybody or even their friends because it's like um very shameful embarrassing for us because we still cling to that that we date to marry we marry for a lifetime and we give up our virginity to the men, only men that we love, that is our husband. In case there would be separation, they still don't sleep around just because they already have lost their virginity. They're preparing themselves for the next, that in case. And they would just not jump into another relationship like... You know like a monkey going on hopping tree to tree like this they want to make sure all the time that when they are into a relationship it's going to be the last one that's their ultimate desire their ultimate goal this daughters that you know that brings honor to the household these are already rare gems in the society and hello vibing with Ram. I'm doing your video right now. Wait. Um he just messaged me. Uh, thank you. Anyways, yeah. We always have this self-awareness, self-checking, self-reflection, and um self-conscious that would always hey, hey. No, you think all the time. What what is the result and what this is, is it okay in the society or your family especially but not easily influenced by others especially their wicked peers because there would be always be peer pressure but if they are your sons will become holy men respected men a wife's submission to her husband is crucial in raising of their sons too. She knows that her sons need their father to discipline and direct them so they can grow spiritually, emotionally, mentally, um, even physically, psychologically strong with wisdom and with authority proper authority this growth and wisdom is a part of their maturing it prepares them to lead their own lives in the future and their own family someday their own households so if the wife doesn't submit there is really chaos <laughs> and then and there would always be an emotional overload when there is emotional overload there always be no sign of logic from women 
Well, 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 boys, you heard it, okay? That man sat there and he said that he felt like he had to become a man, that he didn't want to come just to survive in the West. And that's very deep, okay? Because in a sense, it is more so true. You kind of can't be super nice. It is a, a man should be, you know, kind of stoic and strong and things like that. But you, ha you do have to be very, very, very much on guard and just kind of very, very, <laughs> like, I won't say aggressive, but you know kind of ready for anything and you know that's a lot of stress for a man to have to do that every single day that he leaves his home he said he went over there to thailand and it cleansed him okay cleansed him just mentally and and again currency a lot of people need to understand this currency thing okay a lot of men are going to put females first okay or, you know i know that's going to happen but a lot of people need to understand this currency thing that how far your money can go man like in the west it's like retirement is like to your 60 hopefully <laughs> like hopefully you can retire at 60 like hopefully do you understand you go over there man you can live off of like paying maybe like 800 a month and live comfortable you have saving money and you're just good do you understand with if you decide to you know get married with the wife that actually loves you and doesn't go this other man has more money i just leave you do you understand i can just abuse child support laws and alimony laws no that doesn't happen over there they want to build a family as she said they want to give their virginity to the man they stay with forever, <laughs> okay? You never hear of an American female saying that. They just want money. They just want material things. They don't care about building, you know, children with the man, having a family with the man. They don't, they don't want that. Now, as they age, they go, I want a man. But see, they've become so as a disgusting human that they only can now go, I want a man to just do things for me. But it's, they, they can't even love anymore love they don't even understand it anymore because they just have used and used and used and used and now they just want someone there so they're not bored by themselves okay that man went over there his currency goes farther so he doesn't have to spend a lot of money so a lot of people in the west you know you have to work very hard over there you probably can just really relax and spend a lot of time sightseeing and and doing things like that your currency goes farther as he said, females just treat them way better and men treat them way better. It's just a completely different culture. All right. There comes a time where, you know, changes need to happen. All right. If your country isn't doing what you want them to do. All right. And they're abusing things like child support and alimony and things like that. And not respecting their men. Well, it's time to get your passports. All right. I think I heard the statistic that like 70% of Americans don't even have their passport. Guys, like I have your European friends. Like, it, that's so shocking to him. He goes, like, everyone in Europe, like, has a passport. Like, that's just, like, how do you guys not have passports? Like, 70% of Americans do not have passports. Okay? And when you have passports, you know, again, it puts your country, like, where they go, okay, we have to actually treat our people good. <laughs> because then they go up and build other civilizations. And just like what she said as well, too. Submission. Why it's very important? Because that man needs to lead the home. As she admitted, you know, females are very emotional. And if you let them lead, they they can't they don't have as much self control as a man. There will be chaos in the home if they know that a man doesn't go, hey, and put order inside of that home and lead with logic, not emotion, but logic. And she can feel safe knowing, okay, I know since I don't have as much self control, I know if I get too crazy, my man will step in and He'll make sure everything is with logic and balance. And then he's going to be teaching the son that. Okay, you look at single mother statistics with sons. The majority of people in prisons are literally from single mother homes. Why? Because their sons end up becoming emotional like their mothers, right? And their mothers don't necessarily want that, but that's their being. So they don't know how to just be logical every day. <laughs> you know what I know it sounds crazy, but it's the truth. They don't know how to just be logical every day. So their child is picking, <clears throat> picking up on them literally just being emotional. So he becomes irrational and emotional. Next thing you know, he's in prison. All right. So let me know what you guys think down below. Are you more motivated to get your passports and uh, figure out ways how to uh, be able to go overseas and, and uh, live that life? Are you excited to find your wife or, you know, have some fun time? Live where, you know, there's more, um, you know, you, you have more free time. You don't have to stress and you know make all this money but you still have to you know stress and stress and work and work and work all right let me know what you guys think down below roma down below tiktok down below everyone support membership down below and cash up down below all right see you guys later we go <gasps> peace never met a bitch that i love so much shit leave her stuck up in the mud make a suck up on this dick
for massaging on my nuts. Ain't, ain't no 50-50, baby, welcome to my kitchen.